Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more Abbas video. Cooking Appa. Hi, this is Cooking Appa. Appa will be uploading minimum four videos every week. You will, you can find Appa's new video on every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday, Malaysian time, 7 p.m. at night. And for the past two and a half years, Appa has uploaded over 600 videos onto my Cooking Appa YouTube channel. So you can uh, have a look at it. So today, <coughs> um, Appa managed to get a new equipment. It's a steamer actually, yeah. It's actually a steamer, a very convenient steamer. So you're going to see Appa use it quite often from now on, especially for every time when, um, as you all know, Appa is, uh, Appa is not a full-time YouTuber. I have my full-time job. So every time I reach home at about 6 p.m., I will start cooking and uh, I will always try to find ways how to shorten the cooking time and make cooking easier for busy people. So this steamer is definitely going to help. It's a product from Pacifica and uh, later you're going to see uh, the product itself, the machine. Yeah. So today um, it is a steamer, so um, I don't even have to use a wok a, 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 a lot in the future. So I'll, today I'm going to use, make a chicken mushroom stew, all right? Chicken mushroom stew. And we I have approximately 500 grams of uh, chicken thigh here, cut into cutlets, marinated with a little bit of salt, okay? And then five shiitake mushroom uh, soak, okay? This is dried shiitake mushroom soak until it is softened. Uh, it will take probably some time, but uh, you have to pre-soak this, lah, huh? about half an hour to one hour. And this is a um, few pieces of ginger, old ginger, and one tablespoon of fried garlic. Why I use fried garlic is because I'm not going to do any sauteing today. Instead, I'm just going to put in the fried garlic and also the garlic oil, the homemade garlic oil. As you all know, Appa always uh, makes some homemade garlic oil at home. So from there, uh, every time you can actually straight away use the garlic oil. So. Um, we are just going to put everything inside the steamer and then 30 minutes later you have a beautiful dish so uh, let's get ready the steamer all right so this is the stainless steel inner pot for the for the steamer and then i'm going to put in the chicken the uh, shiitake mushroom together with a bit of the mushroom water few pieces of old ginger one tablespoon of fried garlic about a tablespoon of fried garlic oil alright Uh, approximately two tablespoons of light soya sauce yep and uh, one tablespoon of oyster sauce one tablespoon of saoxing wine And I'm going to add some water. We're not going to add a lot. Um, probably about one bowl of water should be good enough. Because this is actually a steamer, it will actually, uh, the, the water will actually, uh, will actually release later also from the steam. So, don't worry about the water level. Okay. Just try to make the ingredient to be submerged under the water. Then, we're going to close this together with the energy bar. This is the energy bar. Later, the steam will be released from here, from the tip. In. Okay, 
until you heard you hear the clipping sound then it is airtight yeah because later this this thing here is going to be pressurized we will actually adjust the uh, final seasoning with a bit of salt and sugar towards the end once it is done all right so i'm just going to move this over to the machine so here's the machine it is by pacifica powered by joyang from china it's ch actually this joyang company is one of the i think uh, one of the um, very famous brand yeah in high-end they always have a lot of high-end products coming up so let me uh, on the switch thank you for choosing pacifica wow okay <laughs> All right, so uh, what we need to do very easy, just put it in. All right, okay. And I can. I'm going to choose the steamed chicken. Uh, let me reduce the timing. I think about 30, 35 minutes should be more than enough. Let it start, and uh, that's it. Start it will start cooking by itself by releasing the steam inside. So you will actually. Uh, pressurize the, the this particular pot here and um, cook by steam very good so uh, 35 minutes later we are going to release it take it out and uh, just uh, put in a bit of salt and sugar that's that's all um, if you don't want to open it up immediately the uh, the it can actually retain retain the heat the this particular pot can retain the heat by up to eight hours Amazing, isn't it? <laughs> All right. So, we'll, um, if you want to know more about this particular product, I will put in put inside my uh, description box. Okay. All right. After thirty five minutes, so I'm just going to uh, we're going to carefully remove this. Okay. Move it over to my kitchen. Actually, this machine I I put it in my living hall. It looks very classy, so I don't mind putting it on my at my living hall. Okay, so when you want to open, you need to be very careful because inside is pressurized and it is um, very very hot. Okay, the steam yeah is very hot, so you want to uh, leave it like that so that the steam will go the other side. So be very careful here. Click, press this too. Ah, see, see all the steam releases to the other side. Oh, this is so fragrant, so super fragrant. Look at what we have here. Beautiful, isn't it? Uh, the broth actually is a little bit more than what we initially put in because the steam is rela releasing from, uh, it's making the, uh, push it, creating some more broth from the chicken itself. So I'm going to pour it out. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I haven't tested it, see whether I need to do some final seasoning or not. And the good thing about this, this is a non-stick non uh, wall, but non-coated. Don't know how they did it. Mmm, so fragrant. Mmm, I only need to put a little bit of salt. I don't think I need to put in any sugar at all. Just a little bit of salt. That's it. Allow the salt to dissolve. I use this to cook a chicken soup, free range chicken soup the other day. It is one of the best soup I've ever made. Seriously. My wife keep on asking me, uh, did I put in any MSG? <laughs> Which of course you know, Appa doesn't have MSG at home. Wow. Oops, some of it actually pour up. This is just to show you more clearly, right? Not the best way of pouring out the thing a bit messy. Let me clean it a bit. Alright. Just now I only added one small bowl of water. Here I think at least one and a half bowl or probably even more. Next time I think I will put even lesser water uh, so that you uh, the, the, the broth that comes out from this chicken will be a lot more concentrated. The more concentrated it is, the more flavorful your dish will be. All right, so if you like my, um, this is a chicken and mushroom stew. Um, 
do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Up Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Up YouTube channel. If you want to know more about this particular um, uh, steamer from uh, Pacifica, you can just check on the description box here. Yeah? I'm going to put all the details there. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.